So is there any exciting news you have? It's funny you mentioned that, actually. I was going to tell you guys in person, but I feel like I couldn't wait. Oh! You ready, Perry? Ready, Jimmy. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm excited. Today, I've got a very special co-host. She is one-fourth of the greatest girl band in the world. She's won Global Awards, Brit Awards, done five <laughs> huge albums, six headline tours, and she's got a B-Tech in performing arts as well. Her skills are limitless. It's Perry Edwards. <laughs> oh, what a lovely introduction that was. I would applaud, but it's literally just me in the studio on my own because of self-isolation, so it sounds pretty lame. <laughs> yeah, I'll take any bit of crowd interaction I can get right now. This must be the longest you've ever been at home, ever. Yeah, ever. It's the longest I've ever spent with my boyfriend. It's the longest I've ever been at home. It's the longest I've ever not worked. Like, I know we do, like, bits of work here or there in between, like, our days and stuff but it's not like it's hectic I'm so used to being hectic all the time yeah. so it's quite nice to switch off well I mean I, I, I sort of I'm acting surprised but obviously I follow you very closely on Instagram in fact on the show I've got a whole feature that is Perry News where I basically just relay what you've been doing in lockdown from your Instagram story I love it I look forward to it every time oh well, I'm glad you've said that because Perry I'm going to bring it back right now Perry News is back we're doing it <gasps> And I hear you've been doing some research about me, is that correct? Yeah, so actually, Jimmy, just bear with one minute. Hang on, one second. <laughs> yeah. I think we've accidentally <laughs> dressed exactly the same here. Oh my God, I'm winning. <laughs> it's the best we can look for. This is better. Right, I've borrowed my boyfriend's glasses and I can't see. Okay, good, I'm this gonna is going to be a mess. Them down from nerd to sex. Oh my word, we are smashing right. this newsreader look. Good afternoon, this is Capital and welcome to Permi News, the lockdown news that is all about Perry Edwards and Jimmy Hill. Our first story tonight, Perry Edwards cuts boyfriend hair terribly but gets away with it because he's a very, very good looking man. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Actually, Jimmy, I've been doing my own research and I found some news about you. So you may not recognise Jimmy Hill for much longer as he has just purchased a pull-up machine. Oh, his personal best currently stands at four pull-ups. I'd like to clarify, four. actually, it's not four, it's two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> the pull-ups are hard. Also, questions over Jimmy Hill's hygiene have risen after the presenter was seen wearing his favourite JLS hoodie three times last week. Not once, not twice, but three times. I'd actually worn it for a run as well, which is even worse, but it's such oh, a comfy no, hoodie. Thank you. Yeah, but I don't see anyone. It's just me on my own. And finally, Perry Edwards makes scones and Jimmy Hill is going to try one of them right now. Ooh. And here it is, actually. It's been hand-delivered to me. I mean, it looks... It looks... Well, it looks... What? It looks what? Golden brown. Oh, was it? Mm -hmm. Don't don't think I'm going to be negative. I'm going to be complimentary here. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm biting in now. Mmm. <laughs> Quite dry. Yeah, what are you rubbing it with? Just, the, just, just on, on its own. own. <laughs> You're doing it all wrong, Jimmy. You don't just eat a scone like that. I'm sure with a bit of cream on it, that'd be lovely, that. It's just a, it needs something just to moisten it off a little bit. Do you know what? I'm going to get myself a nice cup of tea in a second and I'll finish that off. Or should we take our jackets off now, Cal? Yeah, You can take sweaty. the jackets off now, Perry. Perry, I've got a question here from Ellie. She's asked, if you were to make a football chant up about Alex, how would it go? I mean, the one he's got's really good. You to me are everything, my Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Oh, baby, oh, baby. You were there when we were six, and now he's kissing little mix. Oh, baby. And I'm a bit like, I'm a bit bothered by the fact that it's now he's kissing little mix. Like, it's not he's kissing Perry, his girlfriend, yeah. but all of the band, like, with all of us. Yeah. Like, and when they chanted, I'm like, <laughs> like you're I wanted it to be just about me. Yeah, no, I'd be annoyed by that as well because it does kind of suggest that you're in this weird, like, polygamous relationship with the <laughs> like the whole of the band. You get to share Alex. That's not the case. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm like, why did it have to be Little Mates? They should have put my name in there. Then I would have really known that I've made it, you know? Well, I'm glad you've said that, Perry, because I've been doing mm -hmm. a little bit... Obviously, I've got loads of time on my hands, so I've actually put together my own chant. I'm so excited. <laughs> Shout out to Alex. He's really quite the best. Plays that football thing better than the rest. Here's to Alex. Hey, look at him go. He's a massive fan of the Capital Evening Show. Woo! I, I mean, I'm 
slightly disappointed I wasn't in it. And he's dating Perry, who is really nice. Yeah. yeah. There we go. I, I realise that the slight issue is that you have to pronounce Alex Alex, which nobody does. Oh, yeah. Alex. <laughs> uh, now, Perry, uh, you might not think it, but this radio presenting business is actually quite hard work, okay? It's actually really hard. Yeah, no, I, I yeah, it must be really difficult. <laughs> well, I was thinking, as you're my co-host, we can switch this up a little bit. So I've got oh, a God. pop star on the line right now yeah. waiting to talk to you. I want you to interview them. I don't want to make you anxious. I will just say don't mess this up for me because it's going to be embarrassing oh. for me because it's sort of my name on the show. Oh gosh, okay. I'll try not to let you down. I'll do everything I can. Please bring in our pop star ready to be interviewed. Ah. Yay, Lee! Harry! It's my little baby! Look at you looking all cute in your swimwear. <laughs> so, um, so Lee, uh, welcome to the radio show, The Best on Earth, hosted yes. by Jimmy and, and I. So is there any exciting news you have, any secret projects or any gossip you'd like to share? It's funny you mentioned that, actually. I was going to tell you guys in person, but I feel like I couldn't wait. Ah, uh, joke! Oh, <laughs> she showed us the engagement finger! <laughs> You can't do that, Leanne. I nearly died. Can you imagine? Um, Can you imagine is there anything, me? anything juicy? I could do with a little bit of juicy gossip, get an exclusive. Leanne, tell us about the next Little Mix album. What can you tell us about that? Any exclusives? I think what's good about this one is we didn't put a lot of pressure on ourselves. I feel like it's come together really naturally. Um, quite easy, which was weird for Little Mix. And I can say that there is a collab. That message we got today, though. <gasps> what message? Uh, do you mean, know what? We can't say too much because it literally just, the email literally just got sent today. But it is one of the craziest things we've ever been asked to do to the point where we were like, is this a joke? I am so intrigued right now. Leanne, I actually thought I was going to cry. But what an opportunity, though. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for you. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. This is um, really exciting for you to let your diva out, babe. That's one thing I'll yeah, say. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I want to know what it is.